What's up, everybody? Crazy Mike D here. Tonight is another hot sauce review. Now, my cousin Kristen can sent me some hot sauces. I'll show you them in a second here. If you don't remember my unboxing from my uh, the package that my cousin Kristen had sent me, uh, one of them was the. Uh, the Aubrey D, the Aubrey D, Scorpion Rebel, Demented Hot Sauce. Well, not gonna be reviewing this one, but what she did send me is this four pack of hot sauces. I already took the the package off because when I started recording, there's a glare. I'm trying to do it in a different uh, place in my room. Um, the place that I usually do it, the area, um, I have some stuff there, so I wasn't able to do a review there. So I'm in a different area. I'm hoping that the, the lighting is good. I try to have the light above me on, but it just caused too much glare. It was too blurry. This is the best I was able to do. So I'm really hoping that the, the picture comes out right. But yeah, she sent me these hot sauces. They come from uh, Southwest Specialty Foods. Um, and tonight, I'm going to be trying... I'm trying the Ass Blaster Habanero Hot Sauce. Now on the back here of these boxes, clearly says, Warning, contains capsaicin extract, capsicum extract, pretty much the same shit, yeah, not a fan of extracts, I like hot sauces with natural heats, like Hellfire, Hellfire is all natural, these ones, these contain extract, oh, you wouldn't read the ingredients, but yeah, ingredients, water, habanero pepper, vinegar, capsicum Extract. Z Zathium gum. As Brad Bishop would say, it's got that gum in it. <laughs> um, where was I? Carrot, salt, garlic, and spices. Refrigerate after open. Caution, extremely hot. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Put the link in the description where you guys can find these. These are, I guess, the sample packs. Now, you know, my cousin, she wanted me to do a tablespoon. Yeah. Right. We're not going to be doing a tablespoon tonight. No, 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 no. You know, they don't call me crazy, my D, for, for nothing. And I'll show you why. Once I can get this freaking thing open. <laughs> Where the hell do you open it from? Yeah, yeah. There we go. I got it, I got it, I got it. These smaller hot sauce bottles are a little harder to open than the bigger ones. open give her a good shake and uh, like I said I'm not gonna use a tablespoon use a tablespoon and what's gonna be left a few drops right maybe a little less maybe more or well, maybe I'll probably about two tablespoons in there eh? what do you guys think uh, 0.75 ounce so it's about three quarters of an ounce yeah, this is why they call me Crazy Mike D. Cheers. Oh, 
small time. <sighs> Taste the, the extract. Ugh. Definitely can taste the extract. Ugh, that's gross. I can taste the habaneros a little. But that's pretty much it. And some, maybe some spice of salt. A little bit of heat. Lips. Um, a little bit of tongue. Side of the cheeks. Nothing too crazy though. No. These are these are kinda cool for novelty, but that's about it. Um not my favorite kind of hot sauce. Not even close. Um personally I, I wouldn't buy them if I saw them in the store. But I'm very grateful <clears throat> that uh, my cousin sent me them. Whew. It's got some good heat to it, but that's the extract. It's not the, the the peppers themselves. It's the extract that gives it that heat. <clears throat> but it's not crazy hot. You know, I've I've had hot hot. I've had much hotter. I think it's peaked right now. It doesn't seem to be getting hotter. In fact, it starting to die down quite a bit but you can definitely taste the extract in this these extra extract sauces are crap um, I wouldn't buy them but in their cool review and um, Kristen thank you for uh, for sending me this to review I have uh, Three more to go. We definitely review those. We do doing this too. But uh, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like, subscribe, and comment. And like always, this is Crazy Mike D signing off. Have a great night.